Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're playing some more randomized roguelands, attempting to complete the ultimate roguelands gauntlet. That is six rounds in a row of different characters on roguelands mini. Last time we attempted it before we we're trying, you know, some of that X2 multiplier and randomness shenanigans. We got through four characters, so we had a little bit of a break. We're going to try to jump right back into it and see if we can go through them all now. Now we are in the randomized roguelands, so that's going to be random skills so we're gonna see what we got here i've been having some success with maya in general when it comes to random my skills i see ruin here which is really nice to get it's it's the it's the phase lock skill that allows you to get tons of different elements on it and i also see suspension which is a nice skill as well we're gonna be looking pretty strong as far as phase lock shenanigans goes but which one do we go for first? I think we go for Ruin first. I got a lot of good skills over here. Let's do... Let's do Reload Speed and Magazine Size with all weapon types. And then make our way down to Ruin. We're going to be able to use a lot of different kinds of weapons. Ooh, this Liquid Sniper might do the trick. Oh, Fire Ray plus Chain Reaction. Okay, okay. Alright, a little bit of Tannis action. She wants me to, you know, collect some some Seraph Crystals for us so she can run all of her tests, whatever. That's your, that's your business, not mine. Don't care. Oh, let's roll. All right, to the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve we go, and we're really looking for flesh damage enemies over corrosive damage, or armored enemies. And we do get the, the flesh damage zone, which is nice. Come on down. The price is right. This guy up in the air, or lock him down in midair. Good. Okay. And we should have fixed that framing just a little bit of what we were just dealing with. Maybe. Come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. I put this guy up. There we go. Nice snipe. All to the face. Remember, all we have right now is reload speed and mag size. We gotta make use of those two stats instead of just using regular guns. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. So as much as I want to hang out with you guys, I got different plans. It's hitting these guys with sniper rifles is so tough. Those shit, they're spitting on me? What kind of grenade do I got? Okay, a standard electric grenade. It's actually pretty useful. Okay, not bad. Now I'm getting swarmed in by every type of skag in the book, including ultimate badass skag that I don't really want to have to kill if I don't need to. They're having a little reunion over there. Put you up, and then these guys are all coming charging up where? Right here. Not bad. Let me jump off. And where are they gonna jump off from? They're gonna go around. Works for me. Eat this reprise grenade. Boom. That was pretty good. Pretty good round for me, honestly. Alright, max health should be decent. Our current relic gives nothing, right? Essentially nothing. TDR damage. So yeah, I'd rather just have the assault rifle max ammo and the and extra grenade counts. Realistically. All right, let's see what we got. Pushka is good. Coach gone not. Unless I, unless of course I'm underrating it like I always do. Let's try it. Why not? Minigun, an aquamarine Snyder. I mean, this, this shot, he should be okay, right? I mean, it's got a bandit grip. It's got Torg stock, which doesn't matter too much. It makes the second shot more accurate with less bloom. That's what I know. That's, that's, as far as I'm concerned, second shot has less bloom, but I'm not, could be wrong with that. All right. A nice little bazooka to get me through the early game here. I slap our five points in there as well. Let's go for... We have some good snipers. Let's go at one with the gun. People might be taking a little bit shocked at that decision, but we don't owe anything to them. We owe it to ourselves to try out what we want to try. How could you take that? Because I have a corrosive and a fire sniper friend. So I, I'd rather just have the sniper rifle shenanigans going on. Yeah, honestly, the Pushka probably does even more damage by a lot. So, yeah. 
We do it my way. My way or the highway in this channel. So actually, I did record a an attempt earlier today, but the run crashed um, on tier two. So hoping to have that not happen this time around. I did some some mitigation stuff between now and then, such as delete some of the excess mods that I've been running to help hopefully crash less. Yeah, that's something that, you know, when you do mod a game with all different kinds of mods, dragging and dropping files, sometimes, you know, you can run into situations where you did too much. I don't have Helios or Reaper, but the cooldown rate might be nice later. All right, to the Badlands we go. And I have a nice corrosive damage sniper if I need it. Which I do not. Yeah, I do not. Okay, good. I put this puppy up. Literally. I got much a much better hip fire accuracy. Come on, go down, go down. I'm trying to just talk you up. I'm trying to talk you up, Mr. Doll Sniper. It's not our fault it's a, a rabbit sky got me. That's the fastest rabbit sky kill you ever did see. Come on, give me those crits. Give me those crits. You guys just want a little bit of grenage. How about that? Oh my gosh, one tap of crit. There we go. I honestly think that this weapon is performing quite well in this situation. Big fan. Let's stick with my lock, my rocket launcher. It does more for us. Larger magazine size as well. I had a good weekend this past weekend, and something that I was mentioning in the last video that I that I was just yapping my my happy little gourd off. I did. How about I've heard that you can use this back fence to get up to the top there. Let's try this. That my I was with my in laws, and we were making. Oh, what a what a tech! And we were making. Whoa, they can actually jump up here. That's crazy. We were making. What's it called? Platforms for our centerpieces for my wedding to go down. So they're not my in-laws yet, but they're my future in-laws. We're making little platforms using wood, and so my future father-in-law were outside using this cool power saw, and we were uh, reusing some old wood to make some platforms for some centerpieces. And... Let's take this jolt candy after the round ends. And so we were making them, and unfortunately... We knew that they, the ladies, being my future mother-in-law and my fiance Cindy, we knew that they, they told us that they didn't want the, the platforms exactly square, exactly regular. They said they want it staggered. So when we were building these little platforms, they wanted the wood to be in a slightly staggered state instead of being perfectly square all around the, the four sides of a, basically of a small wooden rectangle. And so we ended up making them not we made them imperfect but we didn't make them staggered enough so we had to at, at the end go back and redo a lot of the work that we did i mean it is what it is okay we use the corrosion on that guy seems to not matter at all it's also bouncing betty at this guy and we have five points to throw on why don't we it's a why not situation let's do it for our five points let's go fill to the brim get even more max size and the ammo carry ammo carrying capacity will help out too which will get us closer to accelerate and then eventually to ruin. Just a big mag for that guy. Probably should have gone for the guy that was slagged, nonetheless. Got him. We do have a surveyor way out in the distance here. Luckily, we're using sniper rifles, which should make it a little bit easier. The Hyperion Space Station is sending in more loaders. It's so cool, honestly. So later on, I'll have slag for this. Every time I face lock someone. But for now, I do not. EXP loader should have a really fun time getting through that grenade. I'm at 6 out of 10. And do I have another weapon I can use? Looks like I packed two launchers with me. Let's take off one. And put on this assault rifle. Maybe I should have... I definitely should have face locked that guy up there. But it is what it is. Assault rifle should do nicely here. Nice try. Can't really see what I'm shooting at, but he's going to die. 
Oh, you stay right there. I don't want to have to use phase lock either. Nice. 9 out of 10. Making quick work of this round. You go up. And then, of course, right after, you go down. Let's grab this relic that I was standing in front of and never took. <laughs> What's it going to be for me? Shield capacity, model on reload speed, fire rate. Let's take shield capacity for now. When I take when I get more of my shield skills, which I think I do have some decent shield skills, then it's gonna be more useful for me. Alright, let's go accelerate for five, and then it's gonna be ruin after. So now my bolts go really fast and do more crit, I think, right? That's what the accelerate gives me. Bolt speed and crit damage. No, it's bolt speed and regular gun damage. Not the most gun damage in the world, but some good bolt speed. Can't be unhappy about that. So we're going to go for that candy after the round ends. I know that I said I would pick up the Pyrex candy at the end of the last round, but... Not the Pyrex candy, the, the Jolt's candy, but I did not. So what now? <laughs> I'm the one who decides how it goes. As simple as that. How about that nice slag droog to absolutely carry the day? Okay. I'm a fan of this. Now all I need is a B-Shield, and I can kill every dragon. Only problem is I don't have a way to defer, divert the aggro. So unless I get some really nice shield skills, I'm not going to have a way to keep up my B-Shield. But we'll see. All right, well, I guess we'll, we really we actually will see here, because this is a really, really tough zone. Let's go. Electrified Wish Doctor. Put him up. He, he barely goes up at all. I'm gonna put that out there. These guys are impossible to crit. Oh, nice. And I didn't pick up the candy at the end. That's okay. Come on. Get me there. Get me there. I just want the kill. I just want the kill. That's all I want. It's the kill. There we go. Finally. One at a time. Use my power pull. I got it. Get there. Get there. Get there. Yes, we got the, we got the melee off. Holy, that's big. They get. Okay. We killed two Witch Doctors there. It's all we're going to need to kill. This guy's annoying me with his with his no crit play style. That's why I go like that and I take him down. Okay. I can shoot one shot at this. I can afford to shoot one shot of sniper ammo up there. Don't hate me. Okay, that's another corrosive assault rifle. We take those. We take toes for sure. We are crewing our different types of elements. That way we can be ready for any kind of raid boss. Destroy you. Basically just like a port potty. I'm not going to go for that red chest over there because I don't want to die. I mean, instead I'm just going to hug the back of this. This will let me. Sometimes it does. There we go. Now we're through. That's a nice launcher in the rest situation. Are we in that situation? Don't think so. There was blood tail. You go up. Push to the doll sniper. There we go. He's going to start screaming soon. There you go. Good scream, actually. You're pretty tanky. At the end of the day, not tanky enough. How about a grog nozzle for your lad, for your for your dude? Let's go. Grog nozzle. I think I want to take one of these two. I'm not sure which one. I don't think I have sweet release or related, but now we have ruin. So pow. Next skill tree we want to get down. I would say mine's eye, then it's nothing, then it's nth degree, then it's suspension. Okay, or I can go for this skill tree. Which gives me salt the wound, which is only for shotgun damage, and then something useful, metal storm. I could go thought lock. Thought lock and suspension could be a nice little combo for me. Let's get let's get mind's eye for more critical damage. Think crit damage might do well for us here. Let's get this drifter egg and then get the final red chest and we can head out. 
Where is it? Show it to me. Ow. Okay. We are probably going to be investing in sniper SDUs. Just a good way to get through tougher bosses, honestly. But a, a turtle shield might be nice. It's going to decrease my maximum health, which will in turn allow me to heal up faster with my grog nozzle. Which is important to me. A Gatlin gun and a horror show. Perfect. Okay. Now we have options for every situation. I think this is going to be my doll sniper action time. Let's roll with it. Yeah, my, it's going to take me a slightly longer to, to load in. I might have to restart my computer or something like that. Let's make sure we land these crits if we can. That's a bouncing Betty. Why not? Oh, the crits, when they rain in, they rain in hard. Can't tell, I can't tell what the movie's going for, so let's just pop this way. Put him up. Very nice. I got 34 rounds left. I'm trying to get all crits. Whoa, jump over that. Put him up. Oh, now I'm getting whacked. Definitely getting whacked. I don't need any kill skills right now, do I? I don't think so, so I'm just gonna stay on the main effort. Stay on main efforts here. Get it all within the mag. Would you look at that? Homing pandemic could be decent. That's a much better class mod. 88% on an SMG class mod. Much, much stronger. Right, let's go. The Miss Moxie's crit not useful. Maybe it is because it's shock and it's an SMG. Okay. I think we take... Oh, a fire droog. Let's go. I think we take points into... I mean, heading into this raid boss, we probably just want more points into something in this tree, right? If anything, we want to get inconceivable. We can't. Let's just take Shock Storm. I think it's whatever at this point. We roll. Uh, let's see if even the Sea of Sanctuary takes longer to load in as well. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of a delay between each load in. I'm not sure what is causing that, but I think a restart restart my computer might help. What do you got for me? Mm, I don't think so. Let's take one pull at the box. Did I hit it? Nope. There we go. Let's see, legendary cat class mod or legendary nurse? The legendary cat could be pretty good. But at this point in time in my life, I'd rather just get the sniper rifle as to you maxed out to the to be top of the mountain. And then we go grenades. So what do I have a transfusion grenade I can lean on right now? I've got a pandemic. Singularity, but no transfusion. Okay, let's get this fiery Drugar here. And hope that we get to and hope that we pull Terramorphous. Okay, we don't. That's okay. I have a horror show that I can use. That's a sniper rifle. And honestly, it might it might help us out quite a bit. Yeah, this is more than doubling my my load in times. That little freeze action. Okay, so let's do. Where'd that horror show go? It's at the very, very bottom. And then something to kill small lads that doesn't eat up my ammo. How about a Gatlin gun? Let's rock. Okay, I can I can slag this dude with my ruin. Okay, let's try. Decent amount of crit right there. Decent amount of crit. Okay. Making good work. Left side. Give me that right side now. Give me that right side. 
Oh, it's so, so, it's just so free. It's so free. All right, let's roll. The Varkid goes. Ratboid goes. And yeah, look at that. This thing kind of rips. Aim for that crit. Okay. Pandemic grenades out. Why not? I'm not sure how much damage they'll do, but they'll do something. I don't want them to corrode me up, but I'm pretty sure I'm about to take some. Let me go for the crit here. You saved your ammo for this. Slag him. Not bad, not bad. Ah, shoot, we're gonna hit too much. Maybe Singularity is the way here. Oh, maybe I hit a crit there. I can't really tell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I think, honestly, a singularity grenade. Just to get these guys off of me. Yeah, let's do a longbow, ball, loud cross singularity at 0. 0.6 second fuse time. Which will then allow me to hopefully get off some hits. Maybe even some crits? Not quite. How did they make it through that singularity? Did I not equip it? No, it's going. It's just not working. There we go. That 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 other uh, claw is gone now. So we can just focus on getting the kills. Put this guy up. Come on, get me there. I don't know. Without power-ups, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this, to be honest with you. This, is so, this guy spawns in so many mobs, it's a little ridiculous. Okay. Got no way to heal back up, and my health is starting to drain. Just use this Gatlin gun on the boss. Okay, that's good. Now you'll give me green power-ups, both of you. Each one of you, green, one green power-up. Nope, not quite. You're rimped. Now they're gonna all get one shot. Let's go. Adaptive shield, no thanks. We stick with that turtle. One shot. One shot. Go ahead, try it. But he did heal back up. I do get a red candy here, which gives us extra pellets. Which I think is a must use straight away. Okay. There we go. This is probably the highest DPS overall. I mean, there's the green, the, the juice house candy does a lot too, but this one is just redonkulous. Okay. I'm making use of it while I can. It's really good on Jacob's weapons because the, the fire rate doesn't affect you so much. I don't know how these guys spawned in. I, I didn't let any eggs hatch, did I? There's no eggs hatching at all. Got the, oh man, I'm taking a lot of damage from far away places. I've got enemies in far away places. 236 ammo. I mean, we play for power up, maybe. A lot of enemies to kill. I think we might as well. How about another red one? Or a green one? That'll be a boss under. I'm so stuck in the corner. It's ridiculous. It's like, then get out of the corner. I want to, but. I'm nervous about dying. He's spawned in a lot of lives now. Only one of them has to betray him, though. Only one betrayal needs to happen. There we go. There's a betrayal. An absolute betrayal. Come on, I'm hitting. I'm hitting. I'm certainly hitting. There we go. Ooh. What you drop me? A unicorn explosion. Don't mind if I do. You not mind if I do. Let's go. Use this, um, juice house candy to, to farm this age out faster. Bada bing, bada boom. Hmm. 
now all of a sudden I like where we're at. GG. We should see a skin back there. Is there something I already have? It is. Okay. Don't drop me skins. I need better gear, please. I right, got a ton of red chests to open up here. Any one of them can be good. I officially have a salt the wound functioning weapon now. This this unicorn explosion does have synergy with with salt the wound, which I believe I wasn't going to take because this is bad. But now I have something for it, so maybe it could be good. Let's keep it rolling and see what happens. Any singular any uh, transfusions yet? So we get a good transfusion. I think we just keep it rolling with just getting different options for grenades, realistically. Let's see. Right, these two gotta give me the best gear. The best gear, I said. Come on, right here. Say the best for last. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the forest, we'll always go. Okay. Find the real butt stallion. Easy peasy. We roll next. All right, entering tier two, what are we nervous about? I would say we were nervous about one, the raid boss. Unless we can get um, some pretty decent offensive weaponry, I think the raid boss could be hurtful to me. Now, if it's Terramorphous, how about a homing slag transfusion? Now, if we get Terramorphous, we have a fire damage druid we can lean on, so we don't have to panic too much in that regard. But overall, I would kind of prefer not to have to lean on the druid so heavily. Either way, it's a Druken slot one, Grognoz in slot two, Unicorn Explosion in spot three, and then Bandit Launcher in spot four. I think with this combo, we should do enough damage. Here we go. Okay, that's where we crashed last time, so I'm hoping that by closing out almost everything that I have running, hopefully, don't get that crash. Here we go. The Shruga's definitely pumping out massive damage. Later, kid. This was without an incendiary damage relic. This was without a sniper rifle damage relic. This was without a legendary class mod. Just pure Droog shenanigans. Extra shot chance. It might be a don't mind if I do type situation. 24% chance to sh fire an extra shot. It's a pretty big damage increase. Pretty large. Okay, we draw. We get this pressure pad over here, and we run, and we roll. These are the kind of stages you would almost rather have in stage three or in tier three. That way, you can get easier pressure pads and access to some of the best weapons in the game. But holy, the extra shot is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, the damage is starting to kick in pretty heavily. All right, next five. Let's go Shock Storm. Let's go Nth Degree. We want Ricochets to be popping for sure. Why I'm picking up that gun? No idea. I already have a Grog Nozzle, which is basically the same thing, just infinitely better in every single situation. But you know, sometimes you just got to play with your gut. Okay. You're gone. Who's next? You? Get Drew, Tommy. Oh, I'm getting hit with the slag weapon. I'm slagged. You know what? How about you guys see some slag? See how you like it. Oh, if I just caught just a, a glimpse of him right there. Oh, now you want to get into my range. Later, kid. I am the greatest to ever do it. Let's take a Jolt's candy and spam. 
run forward to spawn in as many enemies as possible. Any more enemies to spawn in? Yep, there we go. We want to trigger all the enemies in the zone. Run over here. Buy still the jolts candy and, and the transfusion grenades. My favorite combo in the game. Okay, 9 out of 10. And tracking on the last enemies now. And it's a badass Goliath who goes down anyway. GG. Jolts candy. As long as you rock a transfusion, it's pretty free. Other grenades, I don't think it's as strong. But with a transfusion grenade, I think it's quite, quite good. I don't think I, I don't think I replaced my turtle shield for now. Nth degree suspension. That's a nice, that's a nice get. For sure. Rising shot's gonna be a nice get too. So I kinda wanna get that. Both of them should be pretty, pretty powerful. This is the power of the Druid, though. The power of the Druid. This absolutely rinses through enemies most of the time. Hey, what you got? Punishment? All right, let's roll. To opportunity we go. Now, I don't have the best corrosive damage weapons. But I can always... I can always improvise. So let's do a little bit of improvisation. Well, we can use this... This explosive damage shotgun. And it's Torg. Okay, let's roll. How's this gonna do? It's gonna do... I would say, okay. There's no slag there. But it's gonna be... It's going to be at least versatile in it, that it can also take down engineers i don't see it being that good in the zone for us but i mean of course we do have slag transfusions as well we're down to one hit then we're going to die <laughs> we should be okay here though right get a reload off and then you shoot my bandit launcher okay we're still back when that launcher out so those those two guys go bye bye Get a reload all off and the bandit launcher and let's swap out this unicorn explosion for something else how about this pushka i'm taking damage from some oh from you right here okay really not bad and we get a little bit of heal juice as well that two that twin shot i mean i don't do as much damage as as i do with the droog that's for sure but that that two shot is Kinda nice. Take out these these lads while I can. While they're vulnerable. Otherwise they can extend the extend out the stage longer than you have, than you get in real trouble. Extra phase lock time. Super good. And we get to this stage pretty easily. Pretty easily. Alright. Our points are going to go into suspension and then rising shot. Wow, that was a big boom. Okay. Now, the pressure pad, I believe, is right there. Probably want to get it. If I can, from the, from right here. Oh, yeah! Yep. I do get a quad with a... Matching grip and a vertical fork, which I'm pretty sure is good. And a Hyperion shotgun for the... For the or for Hyperion stock. The shotgun fans out there, it's a pretty nice one. I just don't know if I have what it takes to pump up the shotgun enough. But to do enough damage. You know what I'm saying? Let's roll. Let's roll. Shit, this shouldn't be the worst boss fight in the world, specifically because I have this fire damage Drew. But if I didn't have this Drew, I'd be in a lot of trouble here, I think. Alright, so we put up this guy. And we just try to hit him with as many headshots as possible. But we're, we're playing the long game. Once he gets out of phase lock, I no longer have the advantage. We duck we duck real simply into defensive maneuvers. Wait for a phase lock to come back. Okay, so that's someone we don't really want to be dealing with. But now, big sleep. Put him up so that he can't deflect. He also can't use his, his chain attack. And someone's whacked me pretty hard from the side. It's you. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in trouble. Check out the big sleep, though. Take out you. Once, yeah, once his defenses go down. And Incendiary Greed is nice. Alright, we're looking for the small man. Sandman. That's not you. 
Sandman? Yep, there he is. There we go. That's just that's just the Droog for you. It's one shot city. Ho 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 yeah. Let's go. It's just so good. Just with a little bit of crit bonus as well. Just having it be so much stronger. Alright, rising shot. And now we're gonna head into I guess fearless, right? It's oversalt the wound. Salt the wounds for shotgun damage, but I'm wrecking snipers mainly. I think we go fearless. Metal Storm isn't that important so early on. Not Metal Storm. Well, yeah, I, Metal Storm is 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 stronger than. But what I meant to say is Thought Lock. Thought Lock isn't that strong so early on. I'm okay with having none. Honestly, this green one's better. It spawns an extra child grenade. A little bit crazy to think about, but it is better. Put that last shovel go right there. This this lo this loot goes crazy. Over it goes blast out to outer space. Booster shields, and no, I'm not I'm not for I'm for turtle right now. Okay, let's roll. I know I missed two chests, but it is what it is. Okay, Lair of Infinite Agony. We have a decent weapon for this as well. If we get Terra Morphous, we gotten, have gotten pretty lucky in our first two stages when it comes to bosses. All right, let's light her up. And put her down. First boss, or first... I was going to say, let's get a first... Uh, first ad or first mob... Power up, that would have been pretty nice. Gotta aim a little bit higher if I want to get those crits, I think. I'm stuck I'm stuck in a wall. If she goes for heal juice, I'm definitely gonna be regretting my positioning. There we go. Okay, so now. Now I think we can very easily just swap to a a fire damage trance. Use a cat class mod. And this should be more than enough damage to get through this part of the zone. Maybe even and maybe even get a power up or two. See if we can use the spam against the boss. Ooh, I'm pretty low on HP now, though. Power up me. Come on. Transfusions come back. Thank you. And we're back to main effort now. And let's go for... Let's go back to fire rate. Back to fire rate for your lads. Thank you. Now, I want to have enough space to run if she starts doing heal juice. No heal juice coming out. We aim for crits. But unfortunately, we are taking lots of melee damage. There we go. Did you give me some sniper ammo? Oh my gosh. Hopefully, she doesn't have heal juice active. Not quite. I'm a little bit higher for those crits. And now, I'm out of, I'm out of that ammo. That's okay. Let's go back to my cat class mod. I can play for power-ups, too. I gotta run, though. The must-run angle, for sure. Let's we just shoot this guy, since we got him face-locked anyway. It's just kind of crazy how much... How fast these lads really are. Yeah, I don't have a way to be faster right now. And that a single power-up after how many kills? Oh, heal juice and I'm slowed. Dang it, that's a full heal juice. Oh, wait, no. Doesn't look like she got it. Power up, please. I think I got one low enough, though. That would be fine. I gotta run. Jeez, I'm so slowed. I just wanna live. Yeah, heal juice. Run, 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 run. She started pretty close to me. She might still get it. Nope, she did not. There we go. Killed a lot of her lads. Didn't get a single power up, which is kind of crazy to me, but. Guess it is what it is. 
There we go. I'm also looking for grenades that drop on the ground here. Save them up. Okay, kill them as they come in. As long as you don't get hit by heal juice, we should be fine. Hey! Uh, a Pyrex candy. Okay, she's gonna heal. Incoming heal. She doesn't make it. Abuse Pyrex candy and bada bing bada boom. Make it look easy. This might be a situation where we do a double skip. We do a double skip. We grab this, we do a double skip. Right? And that way we can one-shot the boss. And yeah, sure, we're, do we're not getting that much Iridium. But there's a chance that we just one-shot the boss with it. What do you think? It won't be a boss one shot. But if we go fast, we could make it happen. This time I'm 100% I'm ready for a, a lad to pop out. Thing is, if we get the right. Oh, I did not want to do that. If we get the. Whoa, I'm not ready for that. Oh my gosh. I feel it all over my body, the chills. I hate you. Wow. Alright, so let's take five points into this right side go tree fearless, and then it's gonna be Metal Storm. Thought lock up soon. I think we might I think going for a double skip could be good. I've never tried it before. Let's try it. Three, two, one go. And spam F2, spam F2, spam F2, spam F2. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I did it. I did it. It's not worth it though. It's Terramorphous. Yeah, he's not going to spawn in in time. I just completely wasted it. It was really a Hyperius or Pyropede only strat. That's okay. There's about a half chance that it would have worked, right? Because... Yeah, because... Terror, we can't do it against. Hyperus and Pirate Pete, we can. So it is what it is at this point. We do have a Droog for this. This is our, our, this is our best fight by far. We're going to go for the fire rate plus 30%. And I don't get any of the skills, but that's okay. We can slag and we can bag. That's all you can ask for. Going for Chris. It's not bad damage. I would like to get a little bit of eyeballs. A little bit of eyeball action in this next one. Okay, there's some eyeball damage. Isn't like that. Okay. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Very good damage. There we go. Now you guys want to hurt me? Now they want to hurt me. He's definitely going to hurt me right here. Transfusion time. Oh, get you, kill me. Just take out that lad. Now I get Metal Storm. Which doesn't matter, I guess, because I'm getting knocked up to the he ether, to the heathens. Okay. I still got one crit spot I can hit. Two, actually. Out of ammo. That is what it is. We got a good chunk of Hyperius down. With the with what we were using. The fire rate's not terrible. It's not going to be as good as the cat class mod, obviously, but... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's up our damage a little bit with this cat class mod. Make sure we get a, a grenade out. 
Terror's threatening to knock me off the edge. She's she's really wants to do it. I can tell. We just keep going with our fire damage here. Don't give up. Only one slap is only one slap. Come on, bring him down. Bring him down. There we go. I have a grog nozzle if I need it. There we go, Terra. Come on, go down. Oh, a little metal storm. Metal storm. Grog. Oh, nice try. I need to heal a lot. Yep, I do. Can I kill this guy or no? I think I can. Yeah, we're so back. That's the craziest part. We're so back. Yes, and Terra goes down. There's stage two complete. Let's go. Can't be. It can't be too upset about a Slayer of Terra Morphus. Fast mod after killing Terra Morphus. I've said it once. I'll say it a million times. Two Ahabs, though, we can be pretty upset about. I would say. I think that loot. I think we could definitely be upset about. Let's roll. This is tier three now. Tier three. Look for pressure pads. Do not have a choice. Look for pressure pads. Try to get the best loot in the game. And use it to de destroy those dragons. We roll. Feeling pretty confident right now, at least. Just the dragon fight is going to be tough. We need to find a way to heal back up because that pistol damage was not it. And my relics have actually been not the greatest pretty much the entire round. Let's take a gub. Marksman's gub. Look this one. Okay. Legendaries, please. We are in the market for some legendary items. How about just some regular items that are better than the ones I've got now? Come on. Like a legendary siren. Like a legendary siren would go absolutely crazy for me. So right now, all I'm using is this fire rate one at 30%. Like, I could be using something a lot more dangerous than that. And we go to opportunity. A terrible zone to get. Um, yeah, we need fire damage. I think we just rocked this cat class mod with this SMG. Oh no, we need we need corrosive damage. We to get our gub out that we just that we just picked up. We also have a Snyder if we need. Let me just do the best we can. Come on, gub. Come on, gub, get us there. To the promised land, we go. Just like that. Okay, but now we have enemies that are There, that are health and shields together, which is a really annoying combo. And w he's blunt the ground around me, which is not allowing me to shoot my rockets at him. And he's gonna hide back there. Oh my gosh, we get him. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. Let's bring this guy down if he would. Thank you. And what are you doing? Get reload off. Toss this. Toss this. Can we destroy that laddie? This guy's right in front of me. He's whacking me. This is tier three now. We need to stay focused and not die. Luckily, there's been no off my badasses. Knock on wood. Play our advantages. I'm, I'm nervous now. I gotta jump down here. This guy's about to unload a full volley on me. Phase lock and roll here. Max damage. Thank, thank you for this gub, by the way. Good. That was just an ion loader. I think we can kind of wait them out, to be honest. I need a weapon that can that can help me out. Well, once I run out of ammo with this gub, I'm gonna probably switch, switch to Snyder. You won't stay up forever. Didn't think so. Guys, get rid of that off. They're going to my Snyder now. Okay. The extra fire rate's so nice. There we go. 
Let's go. Straight, straight buns right there. We are going to look for the pressure plate on this map. I don't know if I have found it on this map before, but it's something we're definitely going to be looking for. Still no relics that really push us over the edge here. Pressure plate's not in there, right? Ow, ow. Wait, can I actually go through that? I think I can, actually. As If I just run straight through. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> careful, careful, don't die. Whoa, more enemies to deal with. Come on, Gub, just, just do the thing. Thank you. We're running out of blammo, but this this railing seems to be pretty helpful. Are they all are they all programmed to go inside that little zone. Okay, I think they are. I think they are programmed to go inside there. Go 13 out of 15. 14 out of 15. And a power loader. Make it nice and easy for us then, why don't you? Alright, so we are gonna be searching for the Borderlands uh symbol and the and the pressure plate here. So I might pause the video and come back to you guys. Once I have found those things. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. For our five points, we're actually gonna go metal storm into thought lock. Which would be nice. It's going to increase our face lock cool cooldown, but it's also going to give us a, a little bit of chance to divert some attention to some different enemies. Let's get follow through. Or do we want to just get some more defense in these trees? I think getting some more defense in these trees is important here. Let's get asbestos for reduced enemies. Reduced enemy stats effects and let's keep looking. One thing I do know that the vault symbol is actually up there on the top of the opposite side of this elevator. So if you climb up here and you let the first one go past one and then get out in the second one without dying, you can get this one. Extra shot chance and melee override. No, thanks. I really want to find this, this pressure plate. So I'm going to keep searching. Okay. So I did find it. If you go back into this, this corner area and then climb up to this middle section, you can actually, if you're on the very bottom where these chests are, in this last room and you climb up on these steps, you can get onto this one to get onto this ledge. And then, boom, pressure plate would be right here. Tier 3 pressure plate. What's it going to be? Yeah, I was hoping for something a little, a little bit better. <laughs> None of that stuff's going to carry me. None of that stuff's going to carry me. Let's keep going to warm water. Hopefully, we can find the pressure plate here. Hopefully, it's a zone that I know. It is. Okay, let's go grab the pressure plate first. First things first on the realist. I also found this uh, PBFG instead of a chest, so... Let's run this for a bit. Now we can go back to our Droog action. Have the gub in, in, this, in the back pocket for sure. Up to the side. Oh, I missed it and I made it. Crazy. I'm, I'm insanely good at this game. All right. A saw bar, a Thompson, a butcher, a Nirvana. Let's take this saw bar. But let's take this, this Nirvana. Let's go Nirvana and let's go legendary cat class mod. Alright, bring it on. Okay, he is officially Gonzo. That, the shields are a little bit tough to get through at first, but once they're gone, there will be a lot easier. There you go. The grenades land, they heal me up. There we go. So you stand still, you're gonna hit by the grenades, which will help me shred your shields a little bit. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Toss a grenade out there. Second one. You guys have no shields to worry about. So really easy to burn through. Okay. Get one kill and we get Metal Storm active too. So it's pretty simple. So far, though, I don't think I really have the gear at the end of the day to push through these dragons. I don't start getting better gear here soon. Okay, he's thought locked. So this other guy should target him and not me. Yeah. 
Should have a little duke it out sash. Hey, this, guy, this guy was still on my team. That's why he didn't die. That's crazy. Gotcha. He's like, I survive. Oh, a shock sandhawk. Now just give me a B shield and we go to the moon. Let's go for... I would say fleet, honestly. Be super speedy when our shields are down. So that's the number one time you want to be speedy. No, ain't no better time to be speedy than when your shields shields are down. Okay. And because we have less max health, hopefully we can heal back above health gate faster with this grog nozzle. Extra shot chance, extra shot chance. We are really getting the same relic over and over again. I'm hoping to get a, a sheriff's badge or something. I have a deputy's badge I picked up off the ground, but I don't have a sheriff's badge. So my shotguns are good, pistols are not. Okay, I don't know if I know the pressure plate location here. I'm going to search for it, though. That much you don't have to worry about. Do these guys have shields? It looks like they do. Try to hop and get one kill. That'll give us Metal Storm. There we go. For seven seconds at least. Thank you for being on my team for a minute, but now you gotta get burned down. Reset a Metal Storm. Guy shooting rocket launchers, we gotta take him out. There we go, nice job. We have a Thought Lock out there. Hopefully it'll do enough to keep me alive. Come on, Thought Lock, where are you? Help me out here. Okay, we got a sapper. If he takes me down, I don't think I live. So let's just... Let's do what I can do now. Whoa, okay. I'm fine. Destroy that barrel. There we go. That should help. I still got Thought Lock on that one lad. Which is good. Okay. Strong stuff right there. Very strong stuff. Right, I am going to search around for this pressure pad and probably this this borderland symbol as well. So I'll be right back. Holy cow. So getting up here did take a little bit of parkouring. But you can actually get on top of this this house right here and ride the railing around. Okay, and we get a deputy's badge and a hard carry. We are still looking for this pressure plate. So we did find the vault symbol, but the pressure plate still eludes us. We're going to keep looking. For our next five points, I'm going to put them into Inconceivable so that we can have a greater chance to not consume ammo with our droogs, hopefully. Okay, so I did end up finding the pressure plate. If you run to the very edge of this cliff side over here, you can actually jump onto this little, onto this little hut right here, and then get onto this railing, run across the top here, and then hop, hop, and you get your pressure plate. Look at that. Very nice. Was it worth it? So just shotgun, a wanderlust, a deadly bloom, a toothpick. Oh yeah, it's worth it. Let's go. Toothpick me. You roll. Very nice. Now I would love to get mouthwash. That doesn't look like I can. That I think that's the last mobbing round. Yeah, I don't think unless we get mouthwashed by some other means. Never got it. We got hard carry, hard carry, hard carry, no mouthwash. Which we, I think we still put on. We can always, you know, turn these guys against themselves. Get rid of his shield like that. Hopefully that can kill him before he goes uh, against me. Not the most damage in the world. Actually, I'm feeling a little bit nervous now. I don't have that much assault rifle ammo, honestly, right now anyways. Let's swap off of this, go back to Jeroog action. And I need something a little bit of shock damage. Maybe 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 even a maybe even a sandhawk at this point. Go so sandhawk, legendary cat class mod, and let's go. Do I need the legendary cat against these guys when I can just droog them? Probably not. I don't think I need the extra fire rate either, so whatever. There we go. I'll put him up. I can't put him up. Instead, I thought lock him. Which is okay, honestly. Hey. Gee, I keep helping me out. Honestly, keep helping me out.
Mad dog, what's up? He's like, you won't slag me. You're right, I won't. But Ruin will. He's like, what do I do now? Fight my own? Yes. That is our new agreement. Officially out of ammo. <laughs> Okay, we go to a, a sand hawk here. Don't start, don't start picking up things that don't belong to you. How about that? So will other guys target him before me? It seems like they are. He's pulling a lot of aggro off me. I kind of like it. Kind of like it, honestly. Oh, little tattler action. Let's have their slaga action. I like that. Let's take it. Legendary nurse, legendary. Oh my gosh, that legendary cat is 138% damage. Yeah, we might go cats. SMGs. Okay, let's go for. Let's go for asbestos and sexual tyrannosaurus. Let's roll. Heading to the end of tier three here. Rock got this delivery. Shouldn't be that hard of a fight for us. Again, we do have Nirvanas that we can go to. Let's actually go to a Nirvana this time. Fire it's the same. Let's go to the one with more damage then. Okay, this is doing okay damage. I would definitely want to be spreading out my damage now between the, the happy couple here. Okay. Transfusions make your way back to me eventually. Okay, now, we definitely want to be doing damage to the other guy now. Transfusion, make right back to me, because I think I'm going to take some damage here. Do not have a lot of cooldown right now. Turn against each other. Turn against each other. No, I killed one. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Kill the other. Toss a transfusion grenade. Do not go down. This is how the run ends if you go down here. There we go. Made it out. That's and that counts as our as our tier three boss too. Those bosses can get really really stupid hard if if things go a little bit sour for you. A neo generator shield. Don't mind if I do. A pitchfork. No B shield. That's okay. No B shield is tough. I don't know how we're gonna kill how we're gonna kill dragons with no B shield. What a legendary, just a legendary siren? Yes, how about that? Let's go. There's a bee. Would you look at that? Okay, so here's the strat. We get more Grenage, more SMG, more Launcher, and more Assault Rifle. So here's our strat. It's going to be, I think, Sandhawk to to rinse them with the B shield, hopefully. Thought lock a green dinosaur. Hopefully get our shield back up to full as quickly as possible. And then it's swap out so, so something to bring them down, something to tag them. I could tag them with a Godfinger. Sure, why not? And for, for damage, let's go extra shot chance. Do I have a shield one? I didn't pick up the shield one, did I? I did not. Now let's do extra shot chance. I probably wouldn't go cooldown, but... The cat class mod just does so much. Uh, let's roll. I don't think I have any skills to change. I don't believe I do. Just make sure here. Any skills I can change to get my shields back quick or anything like that? Doesn't look like it. I've got really no way to get my shields back up faster. Just praying at this point that the B shield can help me out. Yeah, let's grab some defense relic here. Shoot the green one as soon as he pops up. There we go. Now, now we just run for our lives. We run for our lives and we thought lock a small green dino. 
Just keep sprinting. Wait for the small room down to spawn. Okay, this is not good. Okay, what just happened? Not good. We want the green one to be on the ground. No, no other one. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Okay, there we go. So now we've got lads. Now we've got lads to shoot at. In case we need to. And what we need to try to do is thought lock one of them. So they all turn against that one. Okay, that didn't work as well as I had hoped. I mean, yes, they're all turning to that one, but I'm still taking just like boatloads of damage. And this depending on grog swapping or grog nozzle to keep me alive. Okay, well, unfortunately, we are down. It took out a lot of them right there. I need a green to get back down here ASAP. Hope we don't mind. Please. Hope we don't mind. If you could just please come back. Give me to my grog. There we go. Okay, let's just tag, the, tag, tag that guy up. And I don't think we can... I don't honestly think we can really use our base shield here. No. It's just... just too many targets. Too many targets hitting me right now. Yeah, we're in trouble. Two downs. Yeah, that one didn't eat, consume any ammo. Tough. That's tough. Get green down again if we can. Okay, red is down. Hooey. Red is down. Okay, come on. Shield's back up. Come on, Red. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. No, I took damage. I took a lot of damage. Now I have to heal back up before I can do anything. How am I not fast enough with fleet? That's not bad damage. That's not really not bad damage at all. And, but we go down. Shoot. The only chance is this. Is this... Launcher, yeah. I mean, that's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. We didn't end up making it all the way. We had a good time doing it, and honestly, it feels good to get back into the, the Rogue Land swing of things. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!